Hello everyone, this is Richard from RefersStuff.com. Uh, I received a phone call from my buddy today telling me that his internet provider has sent him a letter saying that uh, some company is suing him for downloading uh, movies off the internet. My buddy was fur uh, furious because he never did so and uh, he does not have anybody at his house who uh, who does uh, does these activities. He actually have Netflix, he gets all the movie he wants. So. What I did, I went over to his house to see what was going on, and I looked at his internet. And I, what I realized is that he has a, a non-secure wireless internet. And one of the neighbors uh, was actually using his uh, internet connection, uh, wireless internet connection, to download stuff using uh, some sign, some sort of either XTorrent or um, a LimeWire or uh, Emule or any of those programs. So uh, my friend is subject for that now, and. Uh, he has to fight it. So I set it. I set up the security for him, and I thought I really uh, have to do this video because there's a big problem these days. A lot of people have wireless uh, some of some sort at their house, and they do not know how to secure it. And this is the big issue. Um, and it's a, it's a very simple process actually to do that. All you have to do just um, uh, flip up your brow uh, your router, your actual router. Hold it and flip it upside down. And on the bottom of it, you're gonna you're gonna see uh, an address like 192.196.0.1. Okay, uh, some routers might be different, but mostly this is the basic uh, common IP addresses that they share. So uh, you do that, get that uh, number, and then just go to your browser and type in that IP address, just as you see it right here and then it's gonna ask you for an authentication code um, now there's always a default if you never set it up before there's a default for it usually it's either admin admin or admin blank or admin password admin pass um, for D-Link it's admin and then you can leave it blank um, and this is how hackers actually get to, to a lot of places uh, because they know what the defaults are and they use it to get into people's uh, business and mess up their computers and their systems so anyway you put admin and you hit enter in my case I already have it configured so I'm just gonna put my uh, password in my entrance okay and bam you get logged in this is actually the configuration page for your router so you just go in there as you can see on the side you got the wireless click on setup wireless settings most of these things are really common between a lot of routers so uh, again setup wireless settings and on the bottom right here it asks you um, wireless security mode you have many different options you can always disable it you have uh, WEP uh, WPA which we're gonna leave that for now uh, these are more powerful uh, encryption but for now let's just use the WEP wireless settings which is the basic uh, so you click on that on the bottom uh, click on the share key okay it's important click on the share key um, on the WEP encryption it's a 64 bit make sure you choose that because the 128 bit you're gonna have to enter uh, more for your password and this is gonna be really annoying for you because um, I think you have to pick 24 letter password and uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to remember that if you want you can do it it's a stronger security but make sure you write it somewhere and you hide it uh, the key type is hex which uh, allows you from uh, 0 to 9 and from the letter A to F uh, so for example your password cannot include L or N in it or W and then you have the default WEP just key one and uh, over here just put in your password uh, you can put anything like for example 11FF DD33 uh, uh, you're only allowed 10 in the case of 64 bits so all you have to do is just do that and uh, once you do it you have to save the settings and then um, your router is gonna boot up so make sure you let it boot shut it off disconnect it for like five minutes and then connect it back on and now go back to your computer and try to log in again and connect to your wireless uh, wireless network and it's gonna ask you for the password make sure you enter that 
Um, so this is basically it. And oh, come back again. Uh, log into the same page with the 192.196.0.1, and go um, go to setup. Okay, network settings. You need to change the password. Okay, it's really uh, really important. I'm sorry. One second. Internet. Okay, you go to tools, it must be one of those buttons. And ask you for the administrator, a login name and password, and the same thing for the user, because it gives you two. And as you can see, the default is admin here, and the default is user here. So you gotta go in and change those, it's very important. Otherwise, any hacker can just go in, uh, break your security, um, or just connect your, uh, your router through in such address, which is very widely used, and change any configuration they like and then go in and uh, steal your information so it's really important and uh, very easy to to do actually I recommend everybody uh, to do that so again this was Richard from firststuff.com I hope this was useful thank you